Hmm, the human is sitting. Let me adjust the breathing rate to about 12 breaths a minute. And here's the oxygen. Here, hemoglobin, take it to the cell. Consider it done. Hey cell, I have the oxygen for you. Is the return package ready? Oh yeah, here. Take this uh, carbon dioxide and thanks for the oxygen. Let's increase the breathing rate to 30 breaths a minute. Okay, this cell, I've got uh, lots of oxygen. Do you have the carbon dioxide? Yes, I've been cooking a much bigger pot of glucose because I know she's exercising. Oh, great. <sighs> What's happening? The human is having an anxiety attack and is hyperventilating. Here, hemoglobin, take this to the cell quickly. Hey, cell, I'm back. Do you have any carbon dioxide? Uh, no, I don't. Why? Well, the human being is just sitting, so I'm not really cooking much glucose and whatever little carbon dioxide I had, I gave you the last time you came. I need the carbon dioxide to detach this oxygen from my skin, otherwise it's going to be stuck with me and I'll have to take it back to the lungs. What the hell is this? I've been working so hard to bring in this oxygen and now I just have to exhale it out? Anxiety is strongly associated with improper breathing that messes up our oxygen and carbon dioxide balance. That's why if you are facing an anxiety episode, try slow controlled breathing by humming or exhaling through the mouth. Another way you can increase carbon dioxide is simply by going for a walk. Better still, through regular exercise and breathing practices, you can also reduce your anxiety episodes overall.